Here are two screenshots I took off of two iPads from one of our carts. And you see in the background a really large number along with Bogan's logo. Um, it's really easy to make these graphics and then import them into the iPad. So let's look at how we do that. Let me close off the preview. What I'm going to do on my Mac is open up Keynote. I'm going to clear off my slide, and then I'm going to add a few more slides. You'd probably add up to 30 slides, because you probably are managing 30 iPads, and then you'd add another slide for the teacher. So I'm going to add five slides for numbers, and then one slide for the teacher. I'm going to clean off all the text boxes, and then let me go through this one more time to make sure that all of the text boxes are cleaned out. Perfect. Perfect. All right. At Bogan, we're going to be going wall-to-wall -wall IB with our incoming freshmen this fall, so I'm going to grab the IB logo, and I'm going to use that on my slide. I'm going to put this IB logo up in the corner up here, and then I want this IB logo to appear in the same spot on all my slides. So what I'm going to do is, since I have it selected, I can hit Command-C for copy. If you're using a PC, that would be Control-C to copy the image. And then I'm just going to click on each slide, and hit Command V for the PC users amongst you. It would be Control V to paste this graphic in the exact same location. So I went through all six slides hitting uh, Command V to paste and you see that the image does not move as I go up and down through the slides. Now for the number, you're gonna click on text box, delete the text and type one. With Keynote, you're left with the default of Gil Sons and as you can see, the number one doesn't really look much like a number one. So we're going to change this font to Georgia. And then it's a very small number one. We want to get much larger. So we're going to try it at 500 and see how large that is. We're going to go actually a little larger. We're going to try 800 and see how big that is. We're going to go up one more to 900. Perfect. There we are. Now, with Keynote, you get these great hash marks that tell you when your object is centered. If I wanted it completely centered, I'd have it way up here, but that seems a little off to me, so I'm going to pull it down so it's centered on the screen, just like that. Then I want to reproduce that number for the next four slides. I'm going to click on it once and then hit Command-C to copy. I'm going to go to each of the subsequent slides and hit Command-V to paste that number in. Then I'm going to go back, double click on the slide, and change the number. Now let me raise these up a little bit so they are more centered on the screen. Alright, and then for the teacher slide, I'm going to create a new text box and put in the teacher's name. The reason that I make a teacher slide is because I really do insist that my iPad teachers have a wallpaper set that denotes to them and the students whose iPad it is. Because of the iPads look the same out of the case, and we use the same case on all of our iPads at Bogan, the wallpaper helps us visually recognize an iPad belonging to a certain student based on the number assigned to the student or to the teacher because the name of the teacher appears on the background. So uh, we're going to change this to Georgia to match the font of the other uh, tiles and then again enlarge it. We're going to try 150. That seems about right. Let's see here. 150. Perfect. There we go. So once you have your whole set made, one through probably 30 or maybe 35, and then you have the teacher slide made, what you can do is export these slides. You don't even need to save the file, the keynote presentation, you can simply go to file and then export. And we're going to export this entire presentation as images, which means each slide on the left over here will become its own standalone image. They're exported as a PNG file, which is a very high quality digital file, so you're not going to lose any you know, any definition, your images won't become pixelated or anything like that either. So this is a great format. Click Next. We're going to call this iPad Wallpapers IB Logo and then have it saved to the desktop. 
one thing that is really great when you do this is that if you look back on the wall or on the desktop, you now see iPad wallpapers IB logo one and it matches number one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, which means that the teacher's slide would probably be, you know, number 31 or 34 or 36, depending upon how many of the numbered slides you make. That's why you should always make the teacher slide last. That way the numbers that the files default to matches the number on the slide. Now the next step once you have all these made is you're going to make a folder, iPad wallpapers, IB logo, and you're going to drag and drop all of these images, maybe even the stock image you use into that folder, and then open up your drive and drag and drop this folder into drive. So once I'm done making my images using Keynote and then exporting the slides, uh, and I've taken the folder and I've put it down here in my drive, I can get onto an iPad and open up the drive account to find that image and set it as the wallpaper. This is how we do that. On the iPad, I'm going to tap on Drive. I'm already logged in, but if not, you'll be prompted to put in your username and password. At this point, in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to tap on My Drive to find the folder. Remember we called it iPad Wallpapers IB Logo. And there it is at the top of the screen. I'm going to tap on the folder to get to the contents. And now on this particular iPad, we'd say that this is iPad number 3 from the cart. I would tap on image 3. Hold my finger on the screen for less than half a second and I'm able to then um, get a save command to save the image to my camera roll. At this point, I can close the image and swipe out of drive and now I'm going to go to the right hand corner of my screen where it says settings and tap on that icon and you see on the left how brightness and wallpaper is highlighted in blue that's exactly where you need to be now in brightness and wallpaper there's a little um, arrow button on the center right part of the screen tap on that arrow and now you're able to access different albums I'm going to tap on camera roll and scroll to the bottom to find the image I need. I tap on the image which makes it go full screen and now I'm able to set this as either a lock screen image, a home screen image, or both. Let's do set both. I get back out of this and minimize my settings and now you see the wallpaper went from the blue ripples that I had to the number three. And that's how you set the wallpapers on the backs of your iPads.